Hey guys, how's it going? And today we are doing just a more simple command tutorial on slash loot, which can get kind of complicated and we'll just ramp up in the complexity of what we're doing. So loot is like replace item. So replace item lets you change a block or an entity's items. Um, and you get to change exactly what slot you want and you get to give them exactly what item you want in that slot. Um, slash give lets you just give an item and it gives it into the least highest slot so whatever the lowest slot you have available is but loot lets you do both of that except instead of having to know what item it is able to use pools or um, dynamic systems so let's go with loot give at s so this will give me something and i can give myself fish and acacia button now <laughs> it probably has a bug because i can't fish an acacia button um, fish is kind of a special one and you can try and see why you would use that, but I wouldn't use that for most of my cases. Mainly, I would use kill, loot, or mine. So if I do kill, and then I can pick an entity that I want to kill, um, the player, you will see I get no items. So now if I change it to be killing this pig, so at E, and you have to pick only one entity, uh, and I will pick the nearest one, it will drop nothing, sort of equals type equals pig. There we go. So it'll give me three raw pork chops because I'm killing the nearest pig. And it will give me a random amount of pork chops, sometimes three, sometimes two, sometimes one. Um, and that's how the loot kill works with give. Now you can make it a specific slot by using replace. Um, so instead I can go replace entity at s hotbar dot five and that will put them all in this hotbar slot so replace and give work kind of similar except replace is like a specific location where you want to put things um there's one other thing you can do and that is give at s and instead of kill we're going to now go over loot so this will just gra use a loot table and you can make loot tables yourself and we'll go over that later how to do that um, but this will just give you something from a loot table so one loot table that has kind of random things from it would be chests slash and any of these chests so this will give me an abandoned mine shaft loot and you'll see that i got some stuff um let me just clear my inventory so you can see exactly what i'm getting so if i do that there you go some abandoned mine shaft stuff and some more abandoned mine shaft stuff so that's how you kind of grab loot tables which could be useful for a map or something um it definitely for example, if you're trying to like give a player some random loot from a chest, you don't have to rely on them to open the chest and take the items out. You can just automatically give it to them. Um, the last one is mine. So mine lets you mine a block and it gives you whatever loot's from there. You, you have to spe spe uh, specify a tool. So if I do loot that with main hand, it gives me a sandstone, as you would expect. But if I instead put, let's put a lapis lazuli ore. So let's loot give at s mine that with main hand it will give me six lapis which is expected but if i now have a diamond pickaxe that has where is it silk touch silk touch you can kind of guess where this is going uh then i do this it gives me a lapis ore so the loot table does work because in the default block loot table, it says if they mine it with a regular weapon, do this. If they mine it with a silk touch tool, do that. Now, if you want to force the silk touch, you don't have to say main hand. You can say diamond pickaxe, and you can put the necessary MBT here. So enchantments, and then ID, Minecraft, colon, silk touch, and then you can go LVL1. And when I do that, I get a lapis ore from it. So that way you don't have to give the player something in their hand to mine it that way if you wanted to. And this will come back in a second here. Um, but yeah, so that's all the kind of interesting things you can do with give. Um, you can also use insert similarly. This is putting something inside a block. Um, and you can use that and you can use loot and we can use uh, acacia door. And uh, you can see that this dropped, oh, wrong one uh, let's just go with uh, chests slash abandoned mineshaft and this will just insert it into the mineshaft 
chest into the chest and insert kind of has its own special thing insert is kind of like a give for blocks um, replace is a set location uh, give is a any location for players insert is a any location for blocks just the lowest possible location and then spawn lets you spawn um, an item so we can just spawn all them as you might expect and that will just spawn all the items just like that um, and there's a lot of things that you can do with this uh, once you throw in the fact that I can make my own loot tables and I don't have to use the game's loot tables. Um, but yeah, so there's one other thing that's important. So replace entity at s uh, weapon dot main hand mine. Uh, let's go mine that. Okay, so that gives me sandstone. Now let me do this. And let's do that again. So one thing to note is in very specific situations, and we'll come across it later, this is important. So it looks like you can just type mine because it gives you these options, but there's actually one other thing you have to add, and that's the um, count. They don't really say it. Um, you see right here at the end with brackets count, but sometimes you actually need this count, and this can be a big difference. So for example, in my multiplayer shooter game, if I don't add the, sorry, one, specifying that I only want to get one thing from this loot table, what it'll do is even if there's air in, say, a shulker box that I'm looting into my inventory, um, even if there's air, it will clear the rest of my inventory, uh, anything lower than that slot that I'm changing it to. So if I went here and then I had stuff in this slot and then I did it, then it would clear the stew, um, but it wouldn't clear the sandstone. So there's some interesting weird stuff. So make sure that you specify a count when using replace, uh, just to make sure that you don't lose things. You don't have to, but it can make things get deleted. Um, so if I specify a count though, then it will only give me one item from that loot table, uh, which could be something you want to. Um, anyway, so now lastly, we'll get on to some custom loot tables. So if you go into your uh, saves folder, and you go into a data pack that you have. I have videos on how to make data packs, um, but you can change the Minecraft loot tables namespace and you can change the blocks. So what this will do is it'll alter the default block loot tables and you can Google search uh, loot table generator. All the old generators still work or most of them still work. It's just you have, they won't give you a proper data pack. You'll have to um, figure out where to put them based on the new data pack system, but I have videos showing that. Um, but anyway, so let's take a look at this shulker box loot table. This is kind of a special one that is used by uh, from Hybrid Pi. Hybrid Pi. Oh my goodness. Sorry, Phi. <laughs> the Phi data pack. Um, he has like a data pack that's just a bunch of useful things. Um, but basically, it uh, the loot table will check if you have an item that says drop contents true. Um, if you're mining with one of those and if you're mining a shulker box with one of those it instead doesn't give you the shulker box it gives you the contents so i can show you why that's useful so if i do mine this block it will give me a chest it won't give me what's inside the chest it'll give me a chest and it probably that's it it'll just give me a chest okay now if i have a shulker box instead and i take all this stuff out of the shulker box and put it in here now, if I mine this, it will give me a shulker box, but it has all the items inside it. But if I data pack enable file slash starter to pack, if I enable the starter pack, and then I mine it using a diamond pickaxe or any tool and say drop contents, this is a fake tag, but it still reads it, then it will give me one of the items from the chest because I only put a one there. But watch what happens if I don't put a one there. <laughs> It can get kind of weird. Uh, yeah, why did it put it in my offhand? I don't know, but as you can see, weird stuff happens when you don't specify a number and you're using replace. Um, but if I just change this to give, everything would be good. It just gives me everything. Um, anyways, so that's how you use kind of a custom loot table to help you. And this, using this specific technique right here is really useful. So. Basically, what you can do is you can put an item into here. You can change the data of the item, change the name, change the information. You can even change it from a piece of bread to something else. And then you can use loot to give it back to the player. 
Um, so that's kind of a way to manipulate and then bring it back to the player. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much everything. There's a few ones that I want to show you that are kind of cool. So let's go with spawn, mine, and uh, no, 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 loot. And we'll, we'll use tame wolf get head. So this is a special loot table that gets the head of the player that plays the command. Um, and this is one in my Tame Wolf data pack, and I have one in the starter pack as well under Loot Table Entities Player that you probably want to delete anyway. This one's, for some reason, Sublime isn't working. Um, but this one basically just gets the player who's playing the command. So if you do at A, it'll give you a head for every player. Um, if you do execute as at A run, it'll give you everybody's head. Of course, there's only me here. Um, but you can use this to get players heads. I don't know why you would want them, but you can get them um, And the you can just it's one of my the closest videos to this video on my channel Which is just like uh, auto tame wolf data pack. It has the loot table in it if you want to use it um, But yeah, so that's a way to get a player head and there's a lot of cool little tricks you can do with it But that's pretty much all I wanted to cover for slash loot um, It's kind of it's kind of simple but at the same time diverse there's a lot of things you can do and there's more than just this i could show you uh there's so much more um but uh, i think we're pretty much out of time anyways thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one peace